All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel here today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, as always. And today, I am going to be talking about what good investments you guys should make with your $2 million for free that we are getting in this game. We've already obtained a million dollars, but there is another day we will be getting another million, I'm pretty sure. is on the 13th. But I'm just going to give my opinion on what are the best like businesses you can invest your money into to make even more money. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new if you want to see some more GTA. I really do appreciate it, and let's get right into it. All right, so to start off, clubhouses. Now, I get the clubhouses for free because I got, like, the whatever enterprise pack there is in this game, the $100 one. So I got a free bunker and all and the um, clubhouses. But the clubhouse is good for cash creation if you want to get a start in the game. But the thing is, like, it's not too bad. You're just not going to make a lot of money. The sale missions are pretty easy. But if you're going to buy one... I mean, it's just good for a starter, I would say, just to start off. Uh, you could do a lot, like cocaine. You could do a lot with them, but it's definitely not my favorite, not my go-to um, job or businesses to do in this game. All right, so the bunker. The bunker is not a bad buy. Um, it's good if you want to just let it stock up while you guys are going to do other businesses and stuff like that. It is a good money maker, though. You can make like $1.2 million off it, I'm pretty sure, at a full, maybe 1.5 selling it to Los Santos. The only bad thing is about the one up here is you have to drive far for cell missions some of the cell missions aren't too good but it is it does have a good payout i would recommend doing it with uh one other person or two if you can but the bunker is definitely definitely a good one not one of my favorites though but it is a good one all right so now hangers okay definitely not my favorite i don't really care for the hangers that much the hangar missions are not too good they're fun and everything just to fly the planes but it's definitely not my favorite as well um, only the reason why I like the hangar is because of the, um, you can just customize your planes, change colors on them, just do fun stuff with it, get, um, um, different kind of, all kinds of customizations on your, um, planes, you can sell different kinds of planes and stuff like that, um, but it's not too bad, definitely, I would definitely not get this though, for sure, I just got it because I was bored at one point and I just got it just to get it, but it's definitely not a good one in my opinion. Now, facilities, facility, in my opinion, is only good for Doomsday Heist, I'm pretty sure. That's what it's really intended for. And you can get the Avenger and stuff like that and store it in there. But like I said, this one's not really a money maker unless you want to do the jobs. But it is pretty cool to have it just to have the Avenger and stuff like that. But this one's not too bad as well. Is, is it worth it? I'll, I'll let you guys decide that, but it's not too bad. Um, like I said, it's only good for Doomsday Heist, and I really didn't complete the Doomsday Heist. I did it with a friend. We're almost done. We only have a couple more missions to do. But this one's not really a money maker in my opinion. Now, the nightclub. I like the nightclub. I like the nightclub just as much as I like the bunker, but what makes the nightclub so good is the Oppressor Mark II and the Terabyte. The Terabyte and the Oppressor Mark II makes the jobs so much easier. Way easier. You can just put your Terabyte in the middle of the map and do like your um, warehouses, vehicle cargo, which the vehicle cargo... <laughs> We'll get, in, we'll get into that and the warehouses. We'll get into that. But Nightclub is definitely a good buy just for those two. All right, so the arcade. Arcade is not a good buy in my opinion. I just got it because it was new. I like the cutscenes in this game. Um, if you guys want to do the, the the new heist, the um, what's it called? The casino heist, that's what it's good for. You can make some, a, a lot of money off it actually. But it's definitely not my favorite um, go-to missions or jobs. in this. All right, guys. So we are back in the office. And I want to show you guys what my favorite um jobs or missions are in this game uh the special cargo the special cargo is my go-to i made 57 million off this i grinded this for like weeks and days on end straight just non-stop playing it double money it is really good i would say own two of them because there is a wait limit after you stock one up you have to wait like five minutes or something like that but you go to your terabyte go um do another um resupply mission do the missions and just keep going back and forth until you know you're done or whenever you feel comfortable doing it but this one is definitely my favorite out of all of them in this game just because this one is a money maker this one is the money maker in my opinion vehicle cargo on the other hand this one's pretty good too if you can get all arrange all high-end cars you could sell them for like 100k 112k or something like that um you have to get all the small cars or whatever the low-end cars and medium-end cars first and then You'll start just sorting high-end cars every time. This one's pretty good, too. You can make good, pretty good money off it, like I said. I made $10 million off this. I can't believe I made that much off this. I don't feel like I've done that many sell missions on it, honestly. But this one is a good one as well. All right, guys. So we're at my warehouse right now, and it is not full, but we are going to do a sell mission. So as you guys can see, we can sell nine crates for 126 k and the mission is going to be really easy to sell them. 
So we're going to do that real quick. I just want to show you guys why this one is my favorite. Because for one, you can do it on your own. That's for one thing. And the submissions are pretty easy. You can either get a tugboat one. You can get three of these kind of trucks this? right here to do it. And you get a half an hour to do it. So you could take your time with it. I wouldn't advise it. But this one is definitely my favorite out of all the, um, the jobs to do. You can make a lot of money off this. And plus they make the, uh, the like I said, the missions, the, the cell missions are pretty easy on these. So you can make a lot of a lot of money and a lot of profit. It's just taking the time and putting the time into filling them. And you, as you guys can see, we do get a little opposition. But nothing too bad because this thing is a bulldozer, bro. Look at me go, bro. Get the fuck out of the way. Unstoppable. This thing is unstoppable. I would never buy this truck. But it is fun to drive. It's useless. But as you guys can see too, I only have 1.6 million. Um, I spent all my money on that new arcade. But I can make, if I wanted to, I can make 20 million easy. It's not too hard in this game. You just gotta grind out for it. But it, it makes the game fun. But I have bought everything that I wanted in this game. Um, I wasted like 10, 12 million on a yacht, which is useless. If you guys are gonna spend money on something, don't waste it on a yacht. I just bought it for like the bragging rights, I guess you could say. Just to say I have it. All right, so we are close to our first destination here. I really don't know what this is. But I think we only have to sell... Wait, do we have to deliver one? Is that it? Wait. That's easy, easy. I don't remember it being this easy. I thought we had dropped, like, five crates off. Oh, wait. That's it. See how easy that is? Easy 126K right there. But hopefully you guys found this uh, video helpful. And if you guys want to make more money, do invest into the special cargo. I feel like it is the best. Especially at Double Money Man. You can make a lot of money off it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I really do appreciate it. I post every single day. I stream every day as well. And I'll, if you guys are new, like I said, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I said that twice, but have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys.